What's going on? Mike here. I have another video. YouTube, what's going on? Happy New Year. You know, back working, doing my thing. You know how it is, man. Hopefully, you guys are having a great year so far. Um, it's been busy. Um, but you guys should be busy too. It's always busy. <laughs> the minds of persons. This whole pandemic thing is like and it hasn't really stopped and february has kind of been like the staple slow month that i've noticed slowest month february so we'll see how this whole thing affects my february this year maybe it'll be faster than it was last year you know so um but yeah like i said hope you guys are doing great in your business hope you all are making great money and did a <clears throat> did a great year last year you know so that's all that matters um, I have five calls today, lovely Monday, uh, not too much. I always try to keep my Mondays not packed, I try to keep it a little light, you know, coming off the Sundays, sometimes, whenever we can, you know, how that goes, whenever it's possible. So, um, yeah, I'm doing a little some things different this year. Uh, I'm going to change this up, I'm going to have the whole mic and do all that and make it a little better, um, you know, and really keep focus on the the, uh, the you know, the what I'm doing weekly aspect of it, you know, and appliance repair because it's it's tough out here. You know, the, the hardest part for a lot of new people is probably, you know, fixing things, getting the technical information and just having the confidence to fix things, but also, you know, making sure that um, you're handling your business, you know. And one thing I was um, talking to a friend yesterday, I was telling him he's getting into appliance repair. I said, it's much harder for you than say it is for me starting my business because I already had the technician side down. Like, you can tell me nothing. You know, I, I know how to fix appliances. I've been doing this for so long. So it's like, you know, that's all I know. But when I got now a business owner hat on, it's like, I'm still learning stuff. You know, it's like, that's a never ending thing when it comes to business. You're going to learn, you're going to evolve, you're going to try to make your business better in some sense, you know, like, I feel like I should have some progression every year and um, just to see how it goes, you know. Uh, but that's how it is out here. I have a lot of questions. Uh, I get a lot of questions on Choice Home Warranty, like through my Instagram and just through. So I'm, I'm going to title this video, um, you know, so people don't ask this question, um, you know, Choice Home Warranty. <laughs> Pretty much like Clients of Prayer Talk all the answers on choice home warranty because you know people are afraid to try them out and i'm like look this company obviously is still in business so they're they're not out here scamming people you know there's some people that i believe that haven't got paid or you know there's always some reason why either um you know they're overcharged or well, the main thing that i want to start out and say Choice Home Warranty is not a beginner uh, warranty company for new technicians. Because if you're not on point, you, there's no real room for error with Choice Home Warranty. You gotta make sure you fix that. Fix it and make sure it stay fixed. Because they're the most, I wanna say cutthroat company out there. One of the most, you know what I'm saying? But they, they pay me great and I haven't had a problem with them. You know, I, I just know how they are and I know what to do accordingly when I run into certain issues so when people ask me what tips can I give you it's like there's no real tips make sure you stay in their parameters which is I believe below 10% reassignment rate and below 210 your total um, your rate with them as far as um, how much they pay out so your authorization rate I believe I forgot what it's it's on the tip of my head but um, that's just how they operate you know that's that's all you got to do you know stay in those parameters and you will keep getting work I get so much work for them it's ridiculous that's why I, I stay working for them only because they provide me with a lot of work in my area they're the number one company in my area hands down um, I, I do work for many other warranty companies home warranty of America Old Republic um, even do SMS assist which is a property management but good company and choice 
trumps all of them with the jobs they send me every day. And when it comes to people that say, oh, I clicked on the job, says, sorry, you're too late. And most of the time that happens. Well, the reason why that happens for you so often is because, especially if you just got with them, they're just, they probably sent you, sent you that job after their, their vendors that they send it to first, you know, their preferred vendors pretty much. So by the time you open it, that job might have been accepted five, 10 minutes ago. It just got sent to you. It just reached your mailbox. So, you know, don't feel bad. Like you, you're not quick on the draw. You just didn't get the job, you know, to you first. That's how that goes. Um, um, I've been with them now four years, so I know exactly how they work. Um, there's sometimes I'll, they'll send me jobs and I'll look at them. I'm too overbooked. It'll still be sitting there right in my area. And I'm like, all right, I know they sent these jobs to me first, you know? So, and then I'll accept them and I'll, I can tell you nowadays, I rarely get a call that I accept and says, sorry, you're late. Rarely. In the beginning, it used to happen a lot, but I had to just kind of like to get with a warranty company. You got to prove yourself. You know, like I said in prior videos, it's like you're new out here. So you can't expect them, you know, to give the warranty company a higher price than all these other companies and them to send you work. Just that's common sense would tell you that's not going to work out like that. So you can give them a price you want and, you know, they might send you jobs and then they might cut back on jobs. But if you stay in a good price range and you complete your jobs, sometimes they might send you jobs out of your, out of your area first because, like I said, they don't know you. So they want to see if you can complete some jobs first. And I don't know, it can be 10, it could be 20, it could be 30 jobs before they start actually send you, sending you jobs in your area to um, pretty much solidify you, you know? that that's Once they start sending you jobs in your area, you're pretty much good to go, you know, as far as, you know, they see you as a company. Okay, this company is gonna complete jobs, it's gonna do what they're supposed to do. Because there's a lot of companies, or a lot of companies that work for Choice that I go behind a lot and, you know, that's how pretty much I got my stance with them. I was going behind so much companies. Companies is like, now my reassignment rate is a little high and my authorization amount is a little over what they want, but they still sending me jobs because, you know, I'm a preferred vendor. And sometimes, you know, especially over the Christmas holiday, and then I was getting a lot of jobs that needed, you know, expensive parts. So it just happens like that sometimes. And, you know, and it usually comes, comes back down and then sometimes back up again. It all depends on what it is. So my advice to you, if you're just starting, do not go with Choice Home Warranty. I would not recommend it. Um, I've seen too many people complain about how they are, and that's fine because they're not, I don't want to say they're the best warranty company. There's, there's several that are better than them, but people will ask me the question, do they pay? Of course they pay, and they pay me on time. But I get a check every single week from them on time no problems so you know I just make sure I complete their jobs I um, update them when I need to uh, you know I'm on the appliance apprentice group shout out to that group and the TK and all that um, and I see a lot of questions on there, especially with choice you know and it's just like people have bad a bad taste for them and I feel like some when new guys come and they see that choice is oh it's I'm gonna stay away from them my advice to you is try them for yourselves it's different strokes for different folks. So what not, what might not work for you, you know, might work for somebody else and vice versa. You know, that's just how that goes. You gotta be your own person and try it for yourself. You know, I always say when you first get with a company, um, by now you should have some money put up for parts because choice, you're gonna have to get your own parts. That's just how that is. Um, and then, you know, you get paid 30 days. You know, some warranty companies are, are a lot better to um, get, getting paid than choice. So my, my, that's why I said my opinion is to stay away from them in the beginning when you're first starting because you want to build more revenue you want to do. But I know some people that got with them when they first started and have no problems. So it all depends on what you want to do. So hopefully after watching this video, uh, you can get an idea because I know several people close to me, my good friends that do choice home warranty in different areas they make good money. They don't have any problems, you know? So my whole thing is what are these, what are, what are me, what am I and these other guys doing to get paid? And what are, 
the other people doing not to get paid? And I can't really, I can't really answer that question because I don't know. My whole thing is if they're, I know some guys that um didn't have, you know, had too many recalls and too many pushbacks or too many reassignments, then yeah, they might hold money. You know, I don't know what they might do, you know? Not that I'm saying that's right or anything like that. You know, it just never happened to me since I've been working with them for so, since I started. They've always paid me. Yeah, sometimes, you know, if you get a call, say three weeks later before it got paid and it needs another part and they want to go to buyout, then yeah, you know, you might have a problem there with the part you put it. So it's, it's a lot of things with choice that as you go, you'll learn and you'll know what to do and what not to do. You know, I don't recommend people doing seal systems for them, but hey, you know, that's if you do it and you like how much they pay you, then that's fine. Other than that, nothing I can tell you on that, man, as far as um, any bad experience that I have with Choice, you know? All warranty companies are gonna have something bad about them. It, that's just the facts. No warranty company is just the best and gonna have no problems with. Somebody, some company has had problems with every warranty company out there. Like I said, it's different strokes of different folks. You know, so people tell me they get paid from Select all the time. I don't like Select. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do any any work for Select anymore. That's just me, you know? So, yeah, so I'm hoping you guys um, like the new video. And actually, shout out to my daughter who did that, you know? Thank you. Love you. Um, here at my next job, this is a refrigerator leaking. I don't know what it is, you know? Uh, shout out to everybody that follows me on my Instagram and um, asks me questions on there and follows all my uh, repairs that I do. Well, most of the repairs that I do, you'll see me put pictures up. I have been slacking lately through this Christmas holiday. Um, and that's where I put most of my engagement through because sometimes, you know, I have people that will pull post pictures, put the complaint, put all that, put all... Me, I just put uh, the picture up, what I replace, and that's that. And then what that leads me to believe if people want to know what happened or what was diagnosed they can just ask a question and that gets more engaging because it's too much time for me to actually put all that information on there if nobody actually really cares but i think people care it's just that if you don't ask you're not going to find out and there's, there's a couple people and shout out to um i forgot your name but who always asks me about problems and stuff on um and you know that tells me like you really want to know so serious. but um yeah um anyway hopefully you guys have a great you know, January, I'll be back with some more videos. Um, you know, talking about some things that people pretty much ask me here and there, but not much, because people really ask me, come to me sometimes with a problem, like, hey, I got this fridge, or I got this dryer, I got this, and I'll do my best to help out as best as I can. Um, for, for those of you who had already hit me up, you know what it is, you know, um, I got you if I got you. If you ask me about choice, I got you if I got you, but hopefully this video will lay it all out to where you will understand that um, certain warranty companies are just not for everybody. So try it, see how it is, formulate your own opinion, and then go from there. Don't just go off of what you see on the internet. You know, Choice on Warranty has a lot of bad reviews. Uh, a lot of warranty companies have a lot of bad reviews. There's always gonna be people who don't like their warranty company. That just is what it is. But I get a lot of customers who love their warranty company and never had a problem with it, especially if they get serviced by me. So it's like, I've had a lot of customers refer choice just because they got service from me. Crazy, right? So <laughs> that's just how that goes. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys uh, stay well and you know, get to work, man, <laughs> later.